Let's present those Terry Lewis and the Hefe de Gabinete, Terry from Pennsylvania. Esta noche celebramos la histórica inauguración del primer presidente afroamericano de Estados Unidos, Barack Obama. Esta noche también tengo el honor de entregar este merecido premio a mi amiga Sonia Gutiérrez, una, una gran defensora de los derechos de los inmigrantes en Estados Unidos por más de 36 años. Sonia. Sonia ha ayudado a mejorar la vida de cientos de miles de adultos con una educación de calidad. Su legado está presente en todos sus estudiantes y sus familias. Muchísimas gracias, Sonia, por tu esfuerzo y contribución. Gracias, gracias, gracias por su paciencia con mi español muy básico. And now, in mi idioma natal, por favor. I am very happy to be here tonight to acknowledge somebody who has meant so much for so long to this city and to everyone who has lived in this city because she has done things which are truly amazing. If you want an experience in life, a true experience in diversity, please plan on coming to a graduation at Carlos Rosario. There is nothing like it anywhere. And this dear person has worked so hard in very difficult times to achieve what we are seeing today. And so it is with a great pleasure that I present to you, Sonia, that he lost us with me this beautiful award. Congratulations, Felicidad. Latino in Niagara Committee. Uh, I am just so overjoyed to see all of you in my school. And I am so happy that this award was presented to me by Jim Graham. Uh, let me tell you a, a short story. You know, I have run this school for 36 and a half years. I started when I was 10. Um, we were part, it, it was established by Carlos Rosario in 1970. Nobody gave us this school. This was a community effort. And Carlos Rosario got some money and gave it to the school system so the school system would establish the school. And I took it over in 1972 as at a, at a small program for 100 uh, students. And then it grew and we had a, um, we were transferred to a big school in Georgetown. And in 1996, we were training 4,600 immigrants a year. 80% uh, have always been Latino. And because of the budget cut in the city, we were really having serious financial problems like we're today. Uh, they eliminated adult education and they eliminated my school. But I promised my community, and particularly my Latinos, that I don't know how I was going to do it, but I would reestablish my school. And everybody told me I was crazy. I didn't have a penny, but I had a lot of help. You know, I started from the basement of my house working with zero money. But I have the help of people like Jim Graham that thanks to him, we have this building. If it weren't for Jim, we wouldn't be celebrating this. Uh, the inauguration of, Bar uh, of Obama in this building today. So, Jim, where are you? You're my dear friend, you're my hero. I love you. And, 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 and he's so been always so supportive, and I'm also so very glad that I have here 
Um, we're accompanied by the chairman of the city council, 